How's it going? My name is Keegan. Welcome to this video. Welcome to my channel and uh, glad to have you here. Today we're going to talk about only two sliders in Lightroom, the vibrance and the saturation. You might be thinking like, who makes a video on two Lightroom sliders? But let me tell you, these sliders are powerful and you can really get amazing colors out of your photos just by using these two sliders. And I'm gonna tell you how to do that today. All right, so first thing we'll talk about is saturation. All saturation does, it's very simple. It boosts every single color equally. Saturation doesn't really do nice things to human skin tone. Now on the other hand, Vibrance is kind of a smart tool where Lightroom analyzes the image and interprets which colors are more muted. So when I boost the vibrance, we'll see that these colors get pushed, but we don't get much push on her skin tone, which is kind of nice for portraits. Now looking at these images side by side, on the left I have the saturation pushed to 50, and on the right I have the vibrance pushed to 50. You can see that the saturation at 50 has a stronger effect overall, and it really affects skin tones, but the vibrance it's just not as powerful and it has less effect on skin tones. Now let's take a closer look at both images while I slightly push up the vibrance to 60 here. So now the colors are a little more even between both, but we can see there's still a difference. In the background, it's pretty obvious that the vibrance is pushing the blues and greens a lot more than the saturation, but the saturation is definitely pushing the oranges and reds a lot harder. Look at her jacket, look at her hair, and especially look at her skin tone. Okay, so now that we know how vibrance works, now that we know how saturation works, let me teach you a sweet trick that I like to use on pretty much every single photo that I take and edit. Let's take a look at this picture here. Don't worry, this is fake, this is makeup. I was shooting behind the scenes photos on a movie set. Here's the trick I like to do. I always like to boost the vibrance until I get a little bit too much in the oranges of his skin. But what I'm gonna do is reduce the saturation to bring the skin tone back to normal. Just about like that. Now, I'm gonna cycle the before and after. Take a really close look at his skin tone and the colors around him. We're getting a ton of color, but his skin tone isn't changing. <laughs> I love it. Okay guys, before we head to the next example, I just wanna thank you for watching so far, and of course my channel's small, so I don't have any sponsorships. So the only thing I can really ask of you is to subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment down below. That really helps us small creators get a bit of a boost up in the search ranking on YouTube and everything, so I would really, really appreciate if you did that. Now, let's do another example. So this is the portrait that we looked at a little bit earlier. I think it's a really great example because we have a lot of color to work with in it. By the way, this model's name is Fred. You can go check out her Instagram. I linked it down in the description. So in the background, we know that we have these blues and we have the green that we can really bring out. We also have the orange here in her hair and the reds in her jacket. We really wanna bring these colors out, but I really like the skin tone that I got in camera. So all these colors, we wanna bring them out without affecting skin tone. And we already know exactly how to do that. Okay, I pushed the vibrance up to 84. Look how high I pushed this vibrance. By putting the vibrance this high, we are affecting the skin tones a little bit. But we know how to fix that. We just drop the saturation until we find that we're happy with her skin tone. Bam! Look at that. Once again, I'll cycle between the before and after. We can see that everything is being boosted around her skin tone. How neat! This is like, if you didn't know this, this is a revelation. This is a true revelation. <laughs> now, this strategy doesn't end here. We can actually do the reverse. Here's an example where boosting the vibrance isn't gonna be very beneficial to the image. And that's because we have a lot of blues here. We know that vibrance targets blues a lot of the time, right? So if I boost this vibrance, it's not gonna look good because we're just getting too much saturation in the blues. Well, let's try the reverse. I'm gonna drop this vibrance so we lose a bit of saturation in the blues, push the saturation, and now we're getting a really nice color palette out of this picture. And now let's look at before and after here. Now we have a little bit less of a saturated color palette, and to me it looks a lot nicer. And then of course, after you use this strategy, don't forget to go in and edit the picture to your heart's desire. That's it, it's so simple. Boost the vibrance, drop the saturation, or vice versa if the photo calls for it. So that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to have you subscribe, ring the notification bell to get notified when I post videos in the future. Thank you for liking this video. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.